Butch, you guys got a quick basic video here on four ways to factory reset your Windows computer. Now, if your computer is running into some difficulties and you want to do a factory reset, then this is a fresh install of Windows 10. I'll show you how to do it in four different ways. So first go start settings and then go down to where it says update and security. Click on here. And once you click on there, it's going to give you the option to go to uh, recovery on the left hand side here. So on the left hand side, come down to recovery, push that and you should have some options available to you. So we've got a couple of options in the recovery section. The one we're interested in is reset this PC. So basically, if your PC is running into some sort of difficulties and you can't fix it, then you're going to have to use this feature called reset this PC. So now you can choose an option. You've got keep my files. What keep my files does is removes apps settings, but it also keeps your personal data. If you are going to use this option, I would always advise you to back up your data first, just in case something goes wrong. Remove everything is exactly what it says there. It will remove all of your personal files, apps and settings. And this is basically what we call a fresh install. So let's move on to the next step, which is reinstalling Windows. Do you want to use the cloud download or do you want to use local reinstall? Local reinstall basically uses all the files from your current system to construct a fresh copy of Windows, which saves you having to download any files. Whereas the cloud download is going to be literally downloading a fresh copy of Windows 10 from Microsoft off the internet and then reinstalling that version on your system. So depending on which way you want to go about it, uh, you can choose your option that suits you. So additional settings here removes all your apps files. Don't clean the drive, download and reinstall Windows. You can change some settings here in the settings pane here, which says clean data. This will remove any sort of data that's left on the drive. It's called a secure erase. Basically, it does take a fair bit of time. So if you don't want to do that part, then leave it well alone. If you're getting rid of the computer, you might be advisable to do that section there. So once you've got your settings, you can then confirm this. And basically, this will go ahead and start the process of resetting this PC. So once you've got this done, we're going to hit confirm. And you can see here we have our settings in place here. Now, cloud download will use more than four gigabytes of data of space. So make sure you've got that space available on the drive that you're downloading it to, which will be your C drive. This will get a few things ready and then start the uh, recovery process of your PC. So let's take a look at option number two for you, which is reinstall Windows manually using Windows installation media. So go to Google and type in here Windows 10 media creation tool and this will allow you to download the media creation tool from microsoft to be able to uh, make a bootable usb flash drive click on the link that says download windows 10 and we can now see we have microsoft's website open here you've got the option to update here we're not covering that in this video we're looking for the media creation tool by clicking on download tool now to create windows 10 installation media this will download their little tool and we can click on this once it's downloaded and this will open up the software. You will need to have at least an eight gigabyte uh, flash drive available to you and that will be wiped. So all the data on that flash drive will be erased. So make sure you've got one spare that you can use. Once you've got this, it's going to open up this box here that says Windows 10 setup. It's going to get a few things ready. And once that's done, you'll be able to select create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file for another PC. So just put the radio button in here and then click on next. And what this will do is move over to the next stage, which is selecting your language architecture and addition. If it's for this PC that you're using, you can leave the tick in this box here. But if it's for other PCs, then you can remove this tick and then choose your settings that you want, like architecture. 64 bit is the norm. So you can leave that as is. Uh, addition will be Windows 10 and you can choose your language. Once you've got that set, you can click next. And this is where we can use the USB flash drive option. Leave our flash drive plugged into the computer. If you want to download an ISO, you would use the other button there, but we're going to be using the flash drive option. You can see here it's not detected my USB flash drive. I'll plug it in right now and hit the refresh uh, drive list and then it should detect my USB flash drive. 
there we go so i'm going to select e make sure you select the right drive and then click next and this will get the process started by downloading the windows 10 iso this will be the very latest version of windows 10 download this and then it will verify that download and then it will start to create the windows 10 media you can then basically uh, boot to that usb flash drive and reinstall windows this is a bit more in depth and a bit more um, advanced for people that aren't used to installing windows by this method you're probably better off using one of the other methods if you're not used to installing windows 10. so let's go start and then go settings and then go back into update and security go back into recovery and you'll see an option here that says advanced startup right here click on this and this will reboot the system and what this is going to do is to give you an option here to say choose an option you can go to troubleshoot and you should see reset this pc but go to advanced options here and you will see an area that says uefi firmware settings you can click on this and this will take you into your bios into your uefi bios you can then change the boot order to boot to that usb flash drive and this will then start the uh, installation process where you'll be able to install windows 10. Now I'm using a virtual machine here as you can see so it's not a UEFI BIOS but you'll get an idea where the boot order will be. You should see something saying boot order and you can basically select the USB flash drive or CD or whatever it is you're using and click this option and click F10 to save and basically that will then boot to that USB flash drive. Again this is more for the advanced options for people. I would use one of the other options for people that aren't familiar with installing Windows 10. Okay, so let's take a look at factory reset Windows 10 using the advanced method. So we can go to settings, update and security, go back into recovery, and you'll see that advanced startup here. You can click on this one here, and basically this will take us back into that place where we was just a second ago. And you'll notice there was an area that says reset this PC. So you can do it from this um, advanced boot menu. So inside here, you're going to be selecting troubleshoot and from here you'll see reset this pc pretty much the same as what it was when we was inside the desktop of windows but now we're inside the advanced boot menu here we can now remove everything or keep our files we can choose what option we want the same as you would if you was inside windows itself uh, but we're selecting it from here and so it's going to be exactly the same but it's going to be a slightly different uh, look to it so as you can see we'll get this option here where it says reset this pc choose your account put in your password to log into that pc if you don't have one you can just click continue so let me continue here and now you'll get the same options cloud download local reinstall and so on and so on so it's exactly the same process i'll follow it through so you can see it so we'll go local reinstall this time and once we get here, this will take a bit of time to populate. Just let it do its thing. And it says, are you ready to reset this device? So this can't be undone. And it gives you a bunch of uh, resets that will happen to your PC. Just bear in mind that all of these settings that you see here will be reset back to factory settings. And you are relying on Microsoft or Windows not to delete your data. So I always personally back up my data manually just to make sure if something goes wrong you're going to lose all that stuff so it's always the best policy so let's try one more thing i just want to show you here from here you can do the same thing so from here the sign in or login screen you can hit the power down at the bottom right hand side of the screen here so you see the power button click this and hold the left shift key down and restart the pc what this will do is take us straight back into choose an option window here. So as you can see here, we get now choose an option straight away. And you can go through and click on troubleshoot and basically choose reset this PC. So let's quickly do this. And there you go, reset this PC. So you can get to it that way as well. Now, if you're having trouble getting to the desktop, you could use that method to basically uh, reset your PC using that method there. So that's basically four ways to factory reset your Windows computer if you're having issues where you can't boot into the desktop or maybe you've got 
some sort of issue with Windows where it's not fixable and you'll need to do a fresh install of Windows 10. Now, like I said before, always back up your data before doing any of this because things can go wrong with Windows when it's doing a fresh install and you can end up losing all of your data. So bear that in mind. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Bye for now. Thank you.